Hello guys, my name is Alessia and welcome back to my YouTube channel. And today we continue watching The Big Bang Theory Season 6. So what happened in the previous episode is that Howard came back from space and everybody was a little bit busy with their stuff because they didn't expect to hang out with Howard, you know, that day that he arrived because Bernadette wanted Howard for herself, but she got ill so she basically fell asleep and Howard went to wander around the city like a lost boy so I felt a bit sad for Howard to be honest because he ended up sitting in a cafe by himself eating a cheesecake <laughs> and singing Rocket Man so hopefully in these episodes they're gonna do some welcome back sort of party for Howard I think he deserved that it's such a big thing that he went to space so yeah, I'm super excited to see what's gonna happen today. So let's talking guys, let's get started. Oh, hey Stuart, I got you a little souvenir from my trip to space. Wow. <laughs> Howard, it's very nice of you. What's yeah, gonna maybe. Be? Open it first. <laughs> <laughs> it's my official NASA portrait. <laughs> hey Stuart, I see you're getting ready for your Halloween party. Yeah, Ooh, that's it's my a Halloween annual attempt soon. to meet women. Ninth time's the charm. <laughs> Would you like me to help? I do have a certain je ne sais quoi when it comes to soirees. Thanks, but I can't afford je ne sais quoi. How much for just quoi? <laughs> uh, you know, you don't worry about money. I'll take care of everything. Really? Yeah, you love it. Ain't no party like a coutre party. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, it wasn't a party. That hotel in Kazakhstan they put you up in before the launch. I mean, it's your last night on Earth. You think you get one porn channel. Have you noticed that Howard can take any topic and use it to remind you that he went to space? Yeah. Interesting hypothesis. Hey, Howard, any thoughts on where we should get dinner? Anywhere but the space station. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, hey, if I went to space, food, I would brag about it every second. <laughs> Howard, I've always thought the lemon was an underrated fruit. Care to weigh in? Not really. <laughs> <laughs> oh well. You know, people say the Soyuz capsule is a lemon, but, yeah. but hey, that baby got me to space and back. <laughs> <laughs> That's cute. Ladies' night at the Cheesecake Factory, does it get any better than this? I hope so. <laughs> oh, it's Leonard. He wants to go to that party at the comic book store. A lot of the guys that hang out there are kind of creepy. Like my husband? And my boyfriend. <laughs> I'm sorry, Amy, you were saying something about Howard's foreskin? Nice try, but you have to go to that party, because we're going. Leonard does things he doesn't like to make you happy. Well, yeah, he's my boyfriend. Isn't that, like, his job? <laughs> You're supposed your to job? do the same. I just think in relationships, you get back what you put into them. I guess I could probably try a little harder. You could start by taking an interest in his work. Not really clear on what he does. <laughs> He's an experimental physicist. Yeah, I'm not really clear on what that means. <laughs> Same. He takes hypotheses and designs protocols to determine their accuracy. Yeah, you're really just making it worse. <laughs> what kind of tea would you like? I think Ooh, I'm gonna try big collection. I love green tea. tea mixed with lemon zinger. Two tea bags in one cup. <laughs> you're not at a rave. Since this is gonna be our first Halloween party as boyfriend and girlfriend, I thought it might be fun for us to go in a couple's costume. Ooh. I couldn't agree more. You and I entering Stewart's party and all eyes turn to see America's most beloved and glamorous couple. Yeah? R2-D2 and C-3PO. <laughs> Isn't that from... Well, Dibs on 3PO. Star Wars? <laughs> Sheldon, when I said couple's costume, I meant like uh, Romeo and Juliet or... Cinderella and Prince Charming, not two robots from some silly movie I don't even like. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, Walking on the because I know edge. You up on TV. I make compromises for you all the time. Can't we find something that we're both happy with? How about one of the most beguiling and influential couples of the 20th century, Hewlett and Packard? Anybody home? Hey, hey, hey. what are you doing here? I just thought I'd stop by and say hello. Oh, what a nice surprise. Uh -huh. What you doing? Better not be building a robot girlfriend. <laughs> no. Although Howard was making some real strides in that area until he met Bernadette. I'm not You're surprised, kidding. to be honest. Oh. Ooh, what's going on in oh, here? Oh, no, 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 don't look in there. What, is it a secret? No, it's a nitrogen laser. It'll cook your eyeball like a softball egg. <laughs> oh, might want to put a sign on it. <laughs> sign right there. Yeah. <laughs> 
uh, that is an integrated ion trap and time of flight mass spectrometer. Wow, hi, techie techie. <laughs> exactly. That is a pencil sharpener. <laughs> That's no, just futuristic. <laughs> it's a front projected holographic display combined with laser based finger tracking. Here, I'll show you. Just put this pencil over here. Sharp, thanks to the machine we saw earlier. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Penny. Then a laser will map the reflective surface. Voila. Wow! wow. <laughs> that is amazing. <laughs> You know, there's That's a foundational incredible. idea in string theory that the whole universe may be a hologram. Oh. Wow. That's crazy. Like, it can well, do that. The holographic principle suggests that what we all experience every day in three dimensions may really just be information on a surface located crazy. in the farthest reaches of our cosmos. Sometimes I forget how smart you are. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> So cute! You should visit more often. <laughs> Take off your clothes. <laughs> what, the here? here? You got a problem with that? No, no. <laughs> Crazy. I'd like your opinion on the menus I prepared for the Halloween party. Creature from the Black Gosh, Forest. Gosh, how we're going to be wearing anything on with a NASA badge, so... As everybody knows. Night of the living garlic bread? It's funny because bread sounds like dead. <laughs> I'm sorry, but these are just ordinary foods with the names bent into tortured puns. But the dishes themselves are in no way Halloween-y. Ooh, halloween -y. That's a good one. They'll pair nicely with my Draculoni and cheese. <laughs> How do I do it? You just was born for that it. Me. I was thinking about wearing my NASA jumpsuit as a costume, but then I realized everyone I was about be to like, say, I was thinking that how are you going to wear astronaut clothes, Hello, like boys. The, the helmet and stuff. What are you smiling at? Nothing. <laughs> you know where there's a lot happy. of nothing? Space. <laughs> Boy, it's nice to sleep in a bed with gravity again. <laughs> Did I tell you about the night my retainer floated out of my mouth and into the airlock? Yeah, you mentioned it once or twice. <laughs> <laughs> I think so, everybody getting a are. bit annoyed a... by it. Astronaut Wallowitz reporting for booty. <laughs> are we clear to jettison that nightgown? Okay, we need to talk. <laughs> what? Oh, Howie, I know you went to space and I'm incredibly proud of you, but you might want to try and not bring it up every minute. I don't talk about it every minute. Tonight every 30 seconds. I'm just saying people are getting a little tired of it. Yeah. So I did this amazing thing and I'm never allowed to mention it? Of course you can, but just not as maybe much. a good rule would be to wait for people to bring it up. I love you. I love you too. Aww. I can't tell you how many times I dreamed I was in bed here with you when I was... You know. <laughs> well, I can't even point? So basically, this is what's called maglev technology. It uses very powerful electromagnets to create a force strong enough to overcome gravity. Whoa, that's heavy. Now, watch this. <gasps> Whoa. It's like magic. Science that is, is very magic. Cool. Sometimes I like to turn this on and pretend I'm the super villain Magneto. <laughs> <laughs> That's a very crazy smart that people who can do that. The mechanics of the universe and is wearing the sexy black underwear you bought him. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> so I thought the photo booth for the party could either be creepy like a mummy's tomb, or they also have the TARDIS from Doctor Who. Uh, do you have a preference? I don't care. Get the TARDIS. Yes. <laughs> this party just became a major rager. <laughs> Oh, oh, by the way, can I borrow your bullwhip and fedora? Yeah, sure, whatever. I was thinking of dressing up as Indiana Jones's mocha-skinned love child. Indian Jones. <laughs> <laughs> Raj is on fire. Oh, Howard, I've got a party to plan. Don't make me pull it out of you. <laughs> Bernadette said you guys are all sick of me talking about my trip to space. Is that true? 
Yes. No. <laughs> Sheldon is straightforward. Different... I was going for helpful honesty. I have no idea what you're doing. <laughs> it's called being nice. You know what, guys? Never mind. I just won't talk about the greatest achievement of my life ever again. Yeah, but look at that. The problem solved itself. <laughs> God! I think I'm gonna do this thing every day, Hello, you know? boys. <laughs> what if we were to go as dinner table favorites, Salt and Pepper? What about Raggedy Ann and Andy? I loved them growing up. No, I don't think so. Those dolls represent three things I do not care for. Clowns, children, and raggediness. <laughs> there are certain things that say to the world, I have a boyfriend and he's not made up. <laughs> Matching costumes, hickeys, and sex tapes. What's a hickey? <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> nice. That's like perfect costumes for them. Is someone a little blue? <laughs> Howie, that's like the funniest thing I've ever said in my life. To tell you the truth, I'm not really in the mood. What are you talking about? I'll be fine. All your friends will be there. Yeah, it's some friends. They all think I'm boring. Maybe you should go without me. I just spent the last three hours coloring myself blue. I'm gonna be washing paint out of my smart for a month. <laughs> Two weeks ago, I was an astronaut. Yeah, well, now you're a smurf. Keep walking. <laughs> Look how tables have turned. That's amazing! Oh, wow! I should have picked Hickey. <laughs> I'm Raggedy Ann and he's Raggedy C-3PO. It was a compromise. I lost. <laughs> Can you believe Stuart's walking around taking credit for this party? Who cares? What do you mean, who cares? Look what I put Rush off here. The, the DJ's on fire. All right, the party's fantastic. Please, tell me more. I haven't heard enough about it all week because hearing about that never gets old. Is this about the space thing again? Well, I'm not allowed to talk about it, but since you brought it up, I went to space! Space, 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 space! <laughs> Can I talk to you for a second? Right now, I'm in trouble. <laughs> you, out! You are being very rude. No, I'm not. They're all being rude, and you're being rude. Me? What did I do? Oh, how we... <laughs> Oh, no! Stop talking about space so much. She's going to slap you. I don't sound like that. <laughs> You're my wife. You're supposed to be on my side. I'm always on your side. Then why are you trying to take this away from me? Being an astronaut is the coolest thing I'm ever going to do. And if I stop talking about it, then I'm just... Just what? Just plain old... Howard Wallowitz again. But you're the cool Howard Plain Wallowitz. Old Howard Wallowitz is the best guy I know. I married him. Yeah, exactly. On purpose. <laughs> <laughs> Not against her will, so. I love you. I love you too. See? All good. <gasps> uh -oh. Nothing to see here. Just sexy police business. <laughs> Just explaining the theory of relativity. <laughs> I don't understand how is it even possible to do that somewhere in public places. Oh, no. Raj sent me some. It's a Milky Way. The Milky Way is a galaxy in space. I've been in space. It sounds it's familiar. <laughs> I'm an astronaut. <laughs> this one's a moon pie. I walked on the moon. <laughs> Okay, I get it. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Paradigm shifting news, gentlemen. Dude, I was about to Bollywood this bitch. <laughs> I invited Professor Stephen Hawking to join me in the popular online game Words with Friends. Moments ago, he accepted my request. Now, do you understand what that means? The game is not called Words with Strangers. No, it's not even called Words with Acquaintances. It is called Words with... I'm not finishing your sentence. You pulled the plug on my funk. <laughs> It's words with friends, which Stephen Hawking and I officially are. Sheldon.
Glenn, I know Stephen Hawking. I worked with him. Yeah, and if they ever come out with a game called Words with people you once worked with, you'll be off to the races. <laughs> Hell, no, I don't think this actually means it. With you, man, hold that thought. Professor Hawking has made a move. <gasps> boy, oh boy. Oh, it's only a matter of time before we're coming up with fun nicknames for each other. I'll be Coop. Yeah. <laughs> He'll be Wheels. <laughs> nice. If he's okay with that. So I was taking a shower this morning, and when I got out, I started to dry off with what I thought was a towel, but turned out to be Howard's mom's underwear. Oh. I had to take another shower. <laughs> it wasn't enough. <laughs> It's never gonna be Nothing enough now. Nothing will ever be enough. Yeah. <laughs> it's too much. I once looked in Sheldon's underwear drawer. He yelled at me. But now I know what it looks like and he can never take that away. <laughs> Why do you have a history textbook? No, it's, it's not a big deal. Ooh. Just taking a class at the Pasadena Community College. Ooh. That's great. I didn't know you wanted to go back to school. No, it's just one it's history good. class. Look, I didn't finish college, so I thought I would give it a try. That's Not good. to mention your acting career is going south like Sherman. <laughs> Read about it in your book. Why would you be embarrassed to tell us? No, I'm not embarrassed. I just didn't want anyone to know because I haven't told Leonard yet. Why wouldn't you tell Leonard? Because it's me going back to school and he's going to be all, you can do it and how can I help? And I'm so proud of you. <laughs> you guys have got to be the weirdest couple I know. <laughs> All in a word to support, support for Penny. I'm really? sure you'll be happy for her. You can't think of anyone weirder? <laughs> you all weird in I can, but your she's own way. <laughs> I play the word quiver with a triple letter and a double word score for 72 points. That'll let the air out of your tires, Hawking. <laughs> Yeah, one of the greatest intellects of our time has agreed to engage with me in a gentlemanly battle of wits. Yeah, and I'm spanking him so hard, his grad students won't be able to sit down. <laughs> Ooh, my friend Steven just played the word act for 18 points. Yeah, that's right. I call him Steven now. <laughs> because I checked and he was not okay with wheels. Oh, you, you could turn his act into extract and it would be for double points. You, Amy, why would you give me a word? What Now if I play extract, it would be cheating. Sorry. Yeah, although, I could play the completely unrelated and better word, extract. Ethical conundrum avoided. <laughs> Thanks, brain. <laughs> I've been thinking about going back to school for a while now. So a couple months ago, I started taking a history class at the community college. Oh, that's great. Great, great, great. Why wait so long to tell me? I, just, I don't want you to make a big deal out of it. Why do you think I'd be like that? I get it, you're taking one class. It's nice. Maybe if it goes well, you take another, you enroll full time. Ooh, be sure to keep an eye on which credits transfer to a four-year college. You're making a big deal. <laughs> yeah, already Sorry. overthinking you know, it. Anyway, that's it. I just thought you should know. Am I allowed to ask how the class is going? It's really good. Mm -hmm. We've been talking about the origins of slavery. Turning my first paper tomorrow. Great topic. I can help with that. You know, there's lots of different perspectives you could take. <laughs> Let Economic, Penny do her thing. Hey, her this own. is my paper, and my perspective is that yeah. slavery is bad. <laughs> oh, and my professor's black, so I'm pretty sure that's the right answer. Can I take a look? No, Leonard, this is my thing. It's like when I started doing chin-ups. I didn't want you to see until I could do one. <laughs> FYI, really close. Thank you. I think the next time I have to speak to a call center in India, I'm going to try using an American accent. <laughs> because when I use my regular voice, I feel like I'm making fun of them. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Not to mention, your American accent is terrible. Dude, my accent is brilliant. Hey, my Snow White American friends, let's put some cow meat on the barbecue and eat it until we're all obese. <laughs> this is what you sound like. I think I'm talking in an American accent, but it really sounds like I'm wearing a set of giant dentures. <laughs> Sheldon, you okay? He's in the zone with his frame. It's been three days. Why hasn't Stephen Hawking played a word? <laughs> Well, he's doing science The guy's a genius. Yeah, I was thinking of writing a book called A Brief History of the Time I Made Stephen Hawking Cry Like a Little Girl. <laughs> Here's the problem. You can't beat Hawking like that. He hates to lose. Everyone knows the guy's a big baby. I mean, forget the wheelchair. He should be in a stroller. Really? One time when I was working with him, he said that Johnny Depp 
was in the Matrix. I told him he was wrong, but he kept insisting. So I looked it up online and showed him. Well, the next day, he had a pizza party, and everyone got invited but me. <laughs> I and feel like all, Howard is making this up. I don't know. Just to Good mess with Lord. Sheldon once what again. What have I done? Good Lord, what have I done? <laughs> Terrible. All right, hotshot, let's hear your Indian. I can't sit on that elephant. My ass is on fire from eating or this curry. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, he's gonna check Please her work. Good. Please be good. Okay. She writes like she cooks. <laughs> Play. Play. Like, what are you doing? It's called manifesting. Trying to use a Jedi mind trick to control Stephen Hawking. <laughs> I did a bad thing. Does it affect me? No. Then suffer in silence. <laughs> Play. Play. Oh, so he probably changed Play. some stuff or he just looked at her Stephen work Hawking. and he feels bad. Penny started taking a class. She wrote a paper. She didn't want me to read it. I went behind her back. I read it anyway. Stephen Hawking no. hates me. So he just read it. I don't know what to do. I mean, the, the paper's terrible. But if I tell her, she'll know that I read it and she'll get really mad. I was beating him so bad he doesn't want to be friends anymore. <laughs> Why does everyone love me except Stephen Hawking? Is it possible we're having two different conversations? Yeah, probably. How would I know? I'm not listening to you. <laughs> okay. Here's what we're gonna do. Chess clock. We each get five minutes to talk about our problems. We'll take turns. Each turn will consist of a statement and a helpful response from the friend. Begin. That's I cool idea. I humiliated Stephen Hawking in a game of words with friends. He stopped playing, and now we're not friends anymore. You're worried about nothing. Give it a couple more days, I'm sure he'll play, and you'll see that everything's fine. I can't let Penny hand in a bad paper, but uh, how do I tell her it's bad without letting her know that I read it? Beats me. Now. <laughs> Maybe since you're so good, he's taking his time to meet the challenge. I want Penny to enjoy it. Well, Wallace told me he's a big baby. <laughs> you know, I didn't know that, and I played extract for 82 points. So it's all Amy's fault. She told me to play it. I've got to cut her loose. <laughs> Sheldon, I wasn't done talking. She hands in the paper tomorrow. I know I could help her, and she's my girlfriend. I, I should be allowed to help her. I hear you, brother. <laughs> Sheldon, you're not helping you at me all. Some advice. Uh, fine. Uh, women, huh? No. <laughs> Leonard, wait. No. I listen to your dumb thing. Leonard, come and back. And he didn't Leonard. give us Leonard, any back. advice. What? Oh, of course. It only works on the weak minded. <laughs> Leonard, it's 8 a.m. It's like the middle of the night. <laughs> oh, wow. That's so sweet. Hey, what's this? Uh, before you open that, um, are you familiar with the story of the shoemaker and the elves? Elves? Come on, Leonard, it's too early for Lord of the Rings. No, no. <laughs> Once upon a time, there was this shoemaker, and when he went to bed at night, uh, is there elves would sneak a new in, paper and make in this folder? So he changed something. Oh, well, the, the whole new the thing. Morning. An examination of the economic, cultural, and political roots of slavery in the Old South. What the hell is this? <laughs> Don't ask me, a little elf did it. <laughs> you just assumed my paper would be bad, so you wrote one for me. No, I assumed it would be good, then I read it. What? I mean, it was good. There were just a, a few things that needed a little polishing. Well, you changed every word. That's not true. Uh, uh, slavery. <laughs> Your name at the top, that's all you. <laughs> you are such an ass. This is exactly why I didn't want to tell you I was taking a class in the first place. Uh, please don't be upset. I, I just I didn't want you ending up with a bad grade and get discouraged and give up on the idea of going back to school. Listen to me. I need to do this on my own. If I yeah. fail, I fail. If I pass, I pass. Do you get it? And since you like stories so much, this is not the shoemaker and the elves, okay? This is give a man a fish, he eats it. Teach a man to fish, he sells it or something. Whatever. I don't know. It's just a lot better than what you did, you big jerk. <laughs> Yeah, I think I'm with Penny this time. Yeah, like, she, she should have done it on her no. own. It would appear as if I've lost him. Stupid brain. <laughs> <laughs> Stephen Hawking's a genius, and he talks like a robot. It's everything I've ever wanted in a friend. <laughs> I guess I just have to make lemonade out of the two of you. <laughs> <gasps> he played! He played! 
Coop and Rolling Thunder are together again. <laughs> we're besties. He was okay with that nickname. <laughs> so now all you have to do is let him win. Yeah, way ahead of you. I will play the word at for two measly points, throwing the game and thus securing my friendship with the smartest man in the world. <laughs> He doesn't want to do that. What are you waiting for? Hit send. I can't. Losing on purpose is intellectually dishonest. So don't do it. Oh, but I want to be Hawking's friend. <laughs> so do it. I won't. This feels right. My mother always said, to thine own self be true. Good for you. Of course, she also told me that every animal in the world got on one boat. So what does she know? And sin. <laughs> oh, hey. I haven't heard from you in a couple of days. You still mad at me? Nope. I have no reason to be mad at you. No, she got to be. I don't know what to say. Hmm, how about, gee, Penny, you're smarter than I thought. You may be the one in school, but I'm the one who learned the lesson. I'm so stupid, Penny. <laughs> Good impression. <laughs> Leonard. I don't think he'll be making that mistake again. So, I know this goes without saying, but if either of you tell Leonard you help me rewrite this paper, I'll beat you both with a bag of oranges. Oh, what? Understood. Okay. Now, ladies, we got a B minus on this paper. I think if we put our heads together on the next one, we could get an A. Uh, but we got you a B minus on purpose to make it believable. Believable? <laughs> saying I'm not smart? You're no, smart. No. I feel like I'm in high school again. Yeah, doing the prom queen's homework so she'll like us. <laughs> no. Oh. It's finally working. It's Stephen Hawking. Would I answer it. I want to hear her. Professor Hawking, how nice of you to call. Hello. I really enjoyed our game, Dr. Cooper. Oh, me too. Or should I say Dr. Loser? Watch out on lost. <laughs> you won fair and square. Uh, very impressive, sir. What does Sheldon Cooper and a black hole have in common? They both suck. <laughs> neener, neener. Nice. <laughs> so good. Well, guys, all I can say, this is probably the funniest episodes I've seen. I don't think I've laughed that much on any other episodes. Well, okay, let's start with Howard and space. It is understandable that he is constantly talking about his trip to space because, as I said, if I would go to space, I would talking about every single day, not like just start talking about space, space stations, stars and everything. I'm like, well, you know what? I've been up there. <laughs> what you've been doing? As he said, it's like his greatest achievement. Not that many people going up there. He obviously like bragging about it. But again, it's understandable. But also understandable from the guy's side to hear it constantly. We're like, we know that you went to space. We know that you're proud of it. And we're proud of you. But don't talk about it every single minute. So, you know, it's understandable from both sides. Hopefully he's not going to be really upset about it. Like he can talk about it, but not as much. Like I would mind if he would like bring it up at some point you know when the conversation goes towards it you're like yeah you know that's what happened there blah 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 similar situation that will be all right and yeah in situation with Stephen Hawking it's so hilarious it's like don't need a comment it's just so good <laughs> gold 10 out of 10 and another thing about with Penny and Leonard I think this time I will be on Penny's side she wanted to do it on her own to want to figure out if she's gonna fail or pass you know it's like it's her brain so she would figure it out because she's a grown woman now she knows what she wants I guess <laughs> but still at the end she used Bernadette and Amy just to prove Leonard wrong Ah, hopefully you know she did it once and she's not gonna do it again like she actually gonna study because I think it's a good thing you know if you're coming back to studying if you left early or something and you weren't able to study and you have an opportunity to study now I think it's really good it's never too late to start educate yourself learn something new so there is no shame to it and if you 
fail, you fail. It's not the end of the world, so you just need to, you know, study harder, learn more. Once again, it's not the end of the world, but it's good to study. It's really good to study. So yeah, that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this reaction. Please don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and share it with your friends. And don't forget to stay kind to everyone and spread love. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys!